Aloha, friends. Today, we're gonna talk about busy bees and how busy bees are like community helpers. So come on. This is a worker bee. One of the jobs of the worker bee is to go to flower to flower and collect nectar and pollen. Nectar is stored in a honey stomach. A bee must visit about 100 flowers to fill up their honey stomach. Once finished, the honey bee must clean themselves by moving the pollen into pollen baskets. The pollen is stored on the back legs. Once full, the bee must return to the hive. These are guard bees. The job of the guard bees are to protect the hive and make sure that the honey bee belongs to their colony. Once in the hive, the bees share their nectar and then they begin the bee dance which shows the other bees the way to the flowers. Hello? No. Okay, maybe not like that, but here's some real bees in action. These guard bees are really doing their job and not letting this bee in until they know for sure she belongs to the hive. Our next job is a gatherer. Their job is to unload the pollen balls into the honeycomb to share with the others. Pollen is used for food for the bees. The bees that had nectar in their stomachs transform it into honey and store it in these honeycombs. Here, wax workers, which are another bee job, fan the honey to help thicken it up and then close the honeycombs with the wax. These are nurse bees. The job of a nurse bee is to help take care of and feed the larva, which is another word for a baby bee. Bees are constantly working hard for the good of their colony. They also can change their jobs. A worker bee will first start out as a nurse, then a wax worker, then a guard bee, and finally a gatherer. Off to find some pollen and nectar. Now that we learned about the many jobs of bees, let's think about some jobs that you could do when you grow up. You can be whatever you want. Police officer, firefighter, teacher, chef, builder, or even a musician. We're going to write about what we are going to be when we are older. What job are you going to be? So pause the video and grab something to write with because I'm gonna ask you to take a photo of your work after this. Unpause when you're ready. The first thing we're going to do is we are gonna talk about what are we gonna be when we are older. So I'm gonna get you started on the first part of your sentence and then you're gonna finish the rest at home. So what are our star writing rules? What do we need to remember? We need to remember to start with one capital letter and all the rest lowercase. We need to remember our two finger space between words and punctuation. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write, I can be a, and then you're gonna finish the rest of the sentence, okay? So let's start off at the beginning of our paper. Remember, we're gonna get in our good writing position and we're gonna write a capital I on our paper. Write with me. I. Nice and neat on the lines. Okay, our sentence is, I can. Can is a sight word. So, it's a C this time. We're gonna write a lowercase c. And, mm, let's stretch that. And, so A. And what's that ending sound? Mm, and. Okay, pause if you need more time. I, two finger space. Can, two finger space. If you run out of room, just go down one more line. I can be. So this is be like in a sentence, not be like, I'm dressed like a bee. So we're gonna do b e. So b b b. That's a lowercase b. Notice mine. I'm not finished with my sentence, so I did a lowercase. Just because it starts down here doesn't mean it's an uppercase. So b. This is an open door. So we have a vowel that's going e. 
What now do we need? E, he's yelling his name. I can be, our next word is A, and it's all by itself. So two fingers space, lowercase a. And this is where you are going to finish. What can you be? Are you going to be a doctor or a dentist? Maybe a zookeeper? Maybe a mom? Superhero? Whatever you're going to be, you're going to write it right here. And at the very end of your sentence, don't forget your punctuation, which is a little period. And then the last thing, if you want, you can draw a picture. So good luck today. I hope you have fun writing and we can't wait to see what you are going to be when you are older. Bye friends.